the rutabaga. It looks like a baseball that your dog has dug up in the backyard. But these are so delicious. And Walmart says you can cut them into fries, so we're gonna give it a try. Okay, we brought the rutabaga home, and now we're going to make rutabaga rosemary garlic fries. The first thing you have to do is peel the skin off. Whew. So I have my studly husband, Paul, here, because these things are beast root vegetables. These are root vegetables. So Paul, will you please cut these into fries? Meanwhile, I'm going to slice some onions to throw in there. She can't ever go wrong with onions. Okay, we're gonna bake these at 400 degrees for 30 minutes, but halfway through, you've gotta stir them because you don't want them to get burned or, or we don't want them to caramelize. So, I'm gonna put about two to three tablespoons of grapeseed, you could use olive oil, salt. Don't be shy with your salt. And you can salt them afterward too, that's good. Now the rosemary. The rosemary is so good on this, but it goes a long way. So I wouldn't go crazy, especially with dried rosemary. That's about a quarter of a teaspoon. Paul, we need some garlic, please. Pepper about a quarter of a teaspoon. And then I use a bunch of garlic. So this is about a tablespoon of garlic. And you know what? I'll put a little more, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Okay. So this has rosemary, fresh garlic. The pan is coated with nonstick aluminum foil for easy cleanup. I learned that from Paul. And we're gonna stick these in the oven for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. It's been 30 minutes. Here are our rutabaga, rosemary, and garlic fries. Oh yeah. So we're gonna plate them. We have made up a little batch of ranch dip. <laughs> Our bowl of porridge. Just right. Just right. The rutabaga is like a thick slice of onion that just hasn't been cooked very long. So if you're getting tired of broccoli or green beans and you need to get out of a vegetable rut, try the rutabaga.